guys, what's up? Gray here. Today I will be unboxing the Shure SM7B as well as the rest of my setup. If you do enjoy the video, please drop a like and subscribe. Now on to the review. Okay, let's get started with the DBX286S. This is a preamp that will give me enough phantom power for the cloud lifter as well as more gain control. This is very important because the 7B definitely needs a lot of gain, 60 dB to be exact. Alright, here we go. I can finally get this open. Well, there you go. It includes a compressor to change the drive density, as well as a de-esser, enhancer, and expander slash gate. There we go, pull out of the plastic. Very gentle with the knobs. Next is the Scarlett 4i4. This is how we will be connecting the microphone to the computer. Focus right, here we are. Beautiful. Open that bad boy up. We have it right there. All those cords. Slide this off here. It includes two inputs with controllable gain as well as the headphone port for listening to your own voice. It's bright red and gorgeous for any setup. You already got all the ports on the back. This is a 4i4. There's just a standard USB-C. Magnet, ooh. Also got some new cables, got some braided XLRs, and a mini XLR, just uh, it's only six inches. Now, what you've all been waiting for, be sure SM7B. As soon as you take this off, set this aside, and here we are, we have the microphone. It's out of the plastic. And here you have it, the Shure SM7B. You also get the back plate that goes right on the back, plate, as well as the other pop filter. And this is the one I'll be using. I also needed the Shure A26X, which is a three inch extension cube for my Rode PSA1 boom arm stand. It extends a little bit further so you can have the full swivel effect. I'll link that in the description as well. Here's the setup. I just have it right onto the pole right here and then wraps around there's a little thing right here with little straps and then you have this which I just have plugged right into the front right now all right here are a few audio clips of me testing out different components the DVX the Scarlet and the cloud lifter if you watch the pictures you'll see what components I'm using I kind of just mix and match whatever so hopefully this will give you a good idea for what it will sound like like I said earlier the audio is not edited it is as loud as I have set it up as on the preamps. I have not changed the volume in the editing software. Testing, testing, one, two, three. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. My gain is at 60 and my output is at plus five. I'm using the DVX and the focus right. The cloud lifter has been removed and I probably don't need it. We will see. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventeen, forty two, one hundred and seventy nine. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Now I have everything connected the focus right, the cloud lifter, the DBX, and I have phantom power. So let's see how it goes. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I have turned down the expander gate, so let's see if that has helped at all. In conclusion, the only tip when using this mic is to make sure you always have the gain and volume at levels you like. 
I did not edit any of the levels after recording them, so they might sound a little quiet, but adding a cloud lifter and DBX definitely helped quite a bit. But you still want to raise your volume level so that you can clearly hear your voice over the background music or sounds. You could run the SM7B with only the Scarlett Focusrite and be fine. However, if you want studio quality sound, you'll really want the extra gain that will be evened out by the DBX preamp. If you enjoyed my review, then please like the video, comment below something else you would like to see, and maybe I'll do it. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.